my best friend Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies Good morning, so today is Wednesday the 16th of October and I'm going to hit the shops and I thought I would take you with me. So I'm going to go to a place called Country Baskets, I'm not sure if you've heard of it before but whenever I go there and show it on my stories it's always a really popular one. So I thought I would take you with me this morning and it's a great place to pick up loads of faux flowers, perfect for this time of year, there'll be loads of Halloween stuff, there's probably going to be some Christmas stuff in there, um, you can get candles, vases, baskets, all things like that. It's a great place um, to just go and have a browse. So yeah, I thought I would take you along with me. But first, I will show you what I'm wearing. I am wearing this blazer, which is from H&M. It was in my latest YouTube video. I'll link everything in the description box below. This is a skinny rib roll neck, which I got from Warehouse last year. It's long sleeved. If I can find anything similar, I will link it below. And then my jeans are Topshop straight leg ones. They're really comfortable. They've got a high waist. And just a really easy pair to wear. My shoes are H&M. They really rubbed when I first got them, but actually now I've worn them in a little bit. They're really comfortable. And then I've got my YSL bag, which I absolutely adore. It was a Christmas gift last year, and I've used it every single day since the day I got it. I use it for night times, use it for day times. It just fits the perfect amount in. So price per wear, I'd say we're winning. <laughs> Rose for days, look at these, beautiful autumnal selection. These branches are perfect as well, just to put in vases and hang things on, you know, little decorations and stuff at this time of year. These orange leaves are beautiful, look at the colour of those. Such great prices too, I don't think you can go wrong with stuff like this because you can bring them out year after year. These look great on tables. You can put them down the middle of the table or put them in vases on the fireplace. And they are $2.99 per stem. Faux eucalyptus is always really good in here. And that is £2.49 for one stem, which I think is a really good price. This is called Veronica. It looks so realistic. How gorgeous is that? So they've got the pink and then they've got this green as well, which is beautiful. And also they've got a dark pink at the back there. And that is £3.80 per stem. You do need quite a few bunched together for them to look real. But I think that they are such a great quality. They've also got these leafy garlands, which are gorgeous for this time of year. I think they'd look great just hung on a mantelpiece, or you could wrap them around your banister. They are $7.49 for one of these garlands, and it's quite long too. These are artificial harvest foxtail. They are $1.79 per stem, and I love them. Look how cute they are. I've got them in this rust red colour. They were lovely, just displayed in a vase all together. Or you can mix them up a little bit. Here, I've just mixed some leaves with some of the foxtail, and it looks so lovely together. And such a cheap way of displaying flowers in your house at this time of year. Now, I'm going to show you some of my favourites, which are the hydrangeas. This colour is beautiful. Look at those two mixed together, they look gorgeous together. The hydrangeas are, these, these ones are 2 dollars and these are 2 dollars per stem. So as you can see, there's rows and rows and rows of faux flowers. Everything that you need. Some of them don't look as realistic as others, 
But these tulips, for example, I mean, it's not the season for tulips, but look at these, they're so delicate. Yeah, even the leaves are realistic. You could have those in a vase all through spring, and it just saves you having to keep buying fresh flowers. But they are $5.99. So yeah, look, these ranunculus are not the best quality-wise. I'm saying these, look. You know, you've got to pick the good stuff out of the bad. Some of them are quite cheap looking and not as nice but some of them are just really gorgeous so these are really good these are like faux stag horns so you could put these in a plant pot and it would just look like you've got a real stag horn growing i'm really bad at growing stag horn ferns so these are a great alternative over here are winter berries these are nice for autumn i love the color Peonies are one of my favourites, not this time of year, but in summer, look how beautiful they are. They are so pretty. They are £5.49 per stem. Time to move on now though, because you're probably fed up with me showing you full flowers. Country Baskets has so much more to offer, so I will take you along and show you some of the other bits now. Let's start here because I've got some of these in my house and I think you will love them these look so they're wooden birch slices and they make perfect place mats or you can use them on a table to put vases and display things on little arrangements and things like that kind of a tray to center items so they've got all different sizes got some smaller ones and so much of different shapes as well Price wise, they start for this size, they're £4.29, which I think is really good. And then they've got some huge ones here. They are £7.99. How great are they? Oh wow, I love these. So they're like um, coral made out of twigs. They'd look gorgeous displayed on shelves, on mantelpieces. They would add so much texture to a room. And they're a special price at the minute, they're only £4.99. Such a good price, they've also got bigger ones too. Moving on to baskets. So many gorgeous baskets and such a great price. So this one here is £9.99. Great for storage, you can never have enough baskets around to put towels in, put kids toys in. That's a nice size one for kids toys. I love the black tassels too. You could actually fill that with baubles at Christmas and it would make such a gorgeous centrepiece. I really like that. Very tempted. It is... How much is it? Um, 9 19 which I don't think is bad at all. These are plastic lined so you can put plants and things in there as well. Or actually they'd be really good as a little waste paper basket as well because they've got the plastic lining. I've been looking for a little bin for in my bathroom actually. I've not managed to find one yet. Concrete planters. They're 4 99 They've got different sizes. Love the big ones. It's gorgeous actually. How lovely would that be with some really tall flowers in there. I love that, the texture is beautiful. That is $8.99, only $8.99 for that. And it's such a great size too. Loads of beautiful planters here. Really pretty, love the shape of those. They've also got wooden apple crates, which I think are brilliant to use as little coffee tables, little side tables. You can put casters on them. I've done that in Alfie's bedroom. I've put some full casters on the bottom and use them as bedside tables. Or they're also great for kids' storage as well, or any kind of storage. And they are, let's see if there's a price on them. It's not actually a price on those, but I know they're always really reasonable in here. More vases, but I can't resist showing you these glass ones because they're absolutely beautiful. 
go. So, so many different colours too, and they are 9 99 These fluted ones are beautiful too. It's like a hurricane jar, so you could put a candle in there. And we've got those in different colours too. This is one that I've got at home actually. Gorgeous little stone vases. They'd be beautiful with single stems in. Love all these colours together, they work so well together. I'm not actually going to show you all the Christmas stuff because I think it's a little bit early, but they have got so many amazing Christmas bits in. So what I'll do is probably come back um, maybe uh, the beginning of November and show you around the Christmas bits in here because it's definitely worth popping along to pick a few things up. We've got tree decorations, oh, they've got a bit of everything in here. As you can see big welcome from Chester um, I've had a really nice morning I popped into Starbucks and then I got sidetracked to pop into the Metro Centre because I had a couple of things to take back and I ended up buying a dress from Zara um, which I'll show you in a minute I hope you enjoyed my little tour of Country Baskets here's Chester look say hello are you gonna say hello here he is look say hello <laughs> no I don't want kisses who's this in here who's that we're getting down now. I really hope you enjoyed my little tour of Country Baskets. What I'll do is I'll put the store list below because if there is a store near you it's definitely worth popping in and having a look. I've actually been really restrained because I am trying to declutter because I do feel as though actually doing this job I've kind of built up a lot of clutter in the house so I'm trying not to buy too many accessories and things like that and I definitely didn't need any faux flowers because I've got loads of faux flowers dotted around the house but if you do need any then they are amazing quality there as you can see so I'll show you what I bought so I got these two which I'm gonna use as tea light holders I'm not exactly sure what they are for we just abandoned on a shelf we couldn't work out how much they were so they gave them me for two pounds each which I think is a really good price but I love them I love the ribbed effect and I think with a little tea light in each one they'll just shine so pretty so yeah I'm really really happy with those um, I'm not sure where I'm going to put them yet but I think they'll look great anywhere in the house to be honest and then I couldn't come home without this I just loved it it's just so unusual I just really fell in love with it I love coral anyway I've been looking for a nice piece of coral um, I've not managed to find one but this I just love the texture of it and everything so I'm gonna put this on one of the shelves or maybe on the coffee table I think it'd look nice anywhere it makes a great centerpiece I think it'd look nice um, in the dining room on the dining table I put my phone on silent because um, it's going a bit crazy um, yeah I think it would look nice on shelves on the dining table anywhere really on the mantelpiece it's quite big so I'll have a play around with it but yeah I'm really pleased with that and I think I paid 4 99 for that because it was in the sale so yeah bargain and the last thing that I bought was this I couldn't walk away without this I've been looking for one of these for ages and the original kind of vintage dough bowls are all really expensive you're talking like 60 70 pounds so I think this was like 10 pounds can't remember the exact price um, I've got the receipt somewhere it was less than 10 pounds and I love it I think it's just something that'll come in really handy I'm gonna put some pumpkins in it and um, I'll put a little cutaway video on just there of what I'm gonna do with it and then once um, Halloween's passed I can then put some nice baubles in it can be used for Easter things it can be used for anything fruit whatever you like but yeah I love that I'm really really pleased with that and then the dress that I picked up in Zara was this one it's very very cute so it's short sleeved um, but it's wool and it's got kind of puffy little sleeves and then it's got kind of elastic around there and it's gathered around there as well but I'll show you a cut out of it on so this is the dress that I got in Zara it's nice and loose you could belt it but I quite like just the fact that it's really nice and comfortable to wear 
um, it's a dark grey colour and it's in t it's tiered so it's got the first tier and then it's got another tier at the bottom and I've paired it with some boots that I got on ASOS last year. Yeah, so it's just a really simple, easy to wear dress for winter and it'd look great with tights too. So I thought to style that with some nice boots and a blazer um, and it'll look really nice. So I was really pleased with that. So yeah, I hope this video has been interesting. It'd be great to know what you think um, and if you'd like me to do more of this style video because all this is new to me. I just like to try different things out. I love watching videos like this. So I thought you might want to come along shopping with me. So anyway, like I say, if you've enjoyed it, please comment below, give me a like and also it would be amazing if you would subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.